Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mobile Air Force. Right behind me is the C-130 aircraft and helicopter hangar and this is for maintenance again. If you haven't watched part one, go watch that first uh, because uh, we already built, you know, this so far. And this is part two of the tutorial. So it's been about a week since uh, part one. And uh, for this part, we're going to be finishing up the main hangar and I think I'll have to have a part three to build the rest of it. But anyways, let's get started. Alright, so I turned off my shader so it's easier to see. So first off, let's grab some materials. A nether brick slab, dark oak fence gate, blackstone button, birch sign, and a chain. As well as smooth sandstone block. And then a dark oak fence and dark oak trap door. As well as this polished deep slate wall. So first off, let's go right where this fin slot is. And then we'll go to the side of, at the top here, down, skip two blocks, I think, and add in a blackstone button like that. Then on the inside of this, we'll add in a smooth sandstone block, just uh, two blocks long on the inside, both sides of the wall. And we're going to make this go all the way to the top, just like this. Other side, same thing, all the way to the top. All right, and I think for this part, we might as well just delete that. All right, cool. And then let's go um, over here, right to this one, and we're to count, I guess, like you know, four blocks, skip four blocks, I would say, and then add in another brick slab, skip a block, another one, and then dark oak fence gate in the middle, open that up, and then a birch sign to the side of this, and then we delete that. Then we'll go over here, line up where that brick slab is, go down, add in a blackstone button there, and we're going to also add in a chain going horizontally right around here, like that. And then we'll skip this slab here, go down, and add in a blackstone button and another blackstone button down there. It should look like that. Then we'll go over here, and we'll go to uh, this layer with the slab, go down, I just, just place the block temporarily, add in a dark oak fence gate, open that up, and then nether brick slabs on either side of that, like so. Then we'll go on the inside, and then we're gonna add in this polish uh, deep slate wall, two blocks long, both sides. And then we'll go over here, and we're gonna skip three blocks and add in another polished deep slate wall. And this time we're gonna make it four blocks long so they all line up. And the other side will do the same thing, just skip three blocks and then add it. So, it should be right here. Alright, then on the inside we can add in uh, this dark oak fence. I'm going to make this go all the way to the very top like that. Other side, same thing over here. All the way to the very top. And then we're pretty much going to add it. It's like the same pattern, like every three blocks we we'll skip that. And you know, add in another one. And I guess we're going to keep on doing that, so let me just do that. So yeah, we're just stacking it all the way across like that. And then we'll do the same thing like all the way to the top part as much as we can above it. So let's see how long this can go. Um, and think over here on the edge here. I'll just do the rest by hand so I don't mess anything up because these things vary. They just go as far up as you know you can like that. And then over on this section, you know, we're just going to do the same thing like this. Just uh, skip three blocks and then add in that the deep slate um, walls like that. And then the dark oak fence. And we're going to skip three blocks of space between it and build it until it reaches, you know, the middle. So however long that is. Um, let's see. I think, yeah, that's pretty much, that should be good. And then for the rest, you know, it just goes all the way up to the roof. All right, great. So after we do that, let's add in another um, dark oak fence. And this time it's going to be on the, the outer edge. So this goes all the way up like that as far up as we can. I guess that will have a little space over here. Same thing. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Just make it go all the way up. And um, we're pretty much going to be building it. And then we're going to continue the pattern, you know, going all the way down. And 
down over there. So make sure they're all like, you know, four blocks long right there. So let's see. Yep, that should be good. And then it goes even higher up here. However far that may end up. And then this part here. This part. This. And possibly this. All right, cool. And maybe this one. No, that one doesn't. All right, so next up, we'll add in a dark oak um, trapdoor. So this is going to be like an upper one on the second layer here. And we're going to make this pretty much line that goes across the whole entire thing. So you know, just like that in the edge, we'll just add in one like that. And the other side, you know, just continue this line. Just extend that up just like so. All right, then on this side, we're going to go skip two blocks and then add in an upper uh, dark oak uh, trap door. And then we're going to continue this line. It goes across just like this. All right, and we'll leave that part alone. All right, so next we'll take out a dark oak fence gate. Let's go over to this side. And we're just going to add in a layer here. Cross, skip a block, and another layer that's going to be right behind that. These slabs. It's in the way. Let me, let me just build it on the. Okay, I just deleted that. Great. Let me just build it on that side like that. All right, then we're going to continue this pattern. Uh, the fence gates are two layers. And that's going to go across to the other side, just like that. All right, once we're done with that, let's go on this end. And we're going to add in. Um, same layer, just like the bottom layer here. So right around here, just a dark oak fence gate. Goes across. Another one right here. And this does not go all the way across. You'll find later, later on we can't fit it. So we just go down one layer, I think. So let's... So let's just add these until we cannot do it anymore. I think we're approaching the limit here. Yeah, like these last three, that's when it goes down a block. This. Then across. And then the last one here. So, and then we'll go back over here and we'll add that dark oak fence gate to the sides. All right, so next we'll take out a dark oak fence gate. And we're gonna make this stick out from this layer here. And we're gonna add in three. Then it's gonna go dangly up and add in another three. Like that. And we're gonna do the same thing for the next one. And then this part here, I don't know, I guess we'll just cut in a hole here. Extend it out. And we're going to keep on making this pattern of three and then three all the way up until this point here. So one, two, three. Then go up. One, two. And then this time we're actually going to go up by one. So this part here, that's when it goes three. Then another three. And you could do the same thing for the rest at these levels. You know, it's <laughs> it's like just so uh, tedious to do. Placing fence gates because they have a small hitbox. And then you see like this part here, it's like lower than that one. But yeah, we just continue this until we do everything here. All right, so once you have done it, it should all be looking like that. Very nice. All right, so for these layers, we're just going to add in two here. And then we'll add in one for the rest of these across, however many there are like that. And then for this one here at the edge, this pretty much going to go diagonally up, you know, straight. Just one, 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 one. So we reach that segment. All right, so it will be looking like that. And then for the next one, it's going to be now two here, then one, then another one, 
Then another one there. All right, next layer, it's going to be, you know, two here. And then I believe it's another two. That's going to be one like that. And then we'll go over here to this layer. And this is just going to go up by one. Maybe two. And then another two. Like that. And then this layer here is going to go up uh, two blocks. Then another two. And then one like that. And we'll keep on doing this pattern actually. That's going to be the same uh, for the rest of this at so one, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, the rest of the four. It's filled in like that. All right, so it should look like this. All right, so next we'll take an end rod and let's go to this second layer here. And uh, let's add in end rods. So it's going to be the end like that, and the two of them like that. Then we'll go off to the second row here, add in the end rod here. So. I'm just placing blocks temporarily so I can add in the end rods the right way like this. So see it's sticking out like that. And we're going to connect the two sides together so that they all, you know, line up. Should be like that. Very cool. Then we'll go off to this segment here, uh, the third one from the door. And let's add in a block. So we're going to add that end rod just so it's in front of this uh, stairs like that. And then we'll go to the fourth one and just, uh, you know, it's a block. So it goes like one block after it, you know. It'd be sticking out like that. And then we're going to extend this so it meets up with the other side. So it should be looking like this. All right. Make sure this part is sticking out. All right. So next up, we're going to mark the areas where they have that hanging vent. So first off, let's go to, I guess, the middle one. The middle sea lantern here and we're gonna uh, use this line wall as a marker and we're just gonna make a two by two like in between these two chains right at this edge like that alrighty so for our next one let's go over to the second row of sea lanterns and let's go second row here and then there should be and we're going to add one so it's around this layer here. Right in between. And then we're going to add in another one of them so it'll line up all the way on this outer edge here. In between this, make that two by two, uh, like so. Then we'll go off over here to, I guess, you know, the third row of <laughs> sea lanterns. And uh, let's go second one here. And we'll make that two by two inside. Uh, just like that. All right, and then let's go um, and add in another one. So that's going to be right around here. And we want to have that like right after the edge, just like that. And we're going to add in another one. So it's going to be this row, I guess the second lantern here. So you'll see it lines up that window, I guess. And we're going to add one. So it's like right around, say here, just like that. And then we're going to add another one. So it lines up all the way down here between that, that near that beacon or that lantern. Um, two by two, like so. And I think the last one, that's going to line up um, with this one, I believe. Yeah, the third one. So, yeah, this one right here is going to be in just like so. All right, so once we marked out all the areas, I'm going to show you how to build one of them. So let's go to this one. And we're going to add in a chain to all four the corners of it and we want this one so it's going to be you know, two here and then one there and then for the other ones what we'll do is that we'll add in chains all four corners but we want it so it's like um two blocks long uh, just like that on that side and this side so it lines up all right cool 
the other one here, just you know, two here, and then this one. Some of them you have to, um, and then another two here, and like that. All right, so you got those down, and then this one here, two, two, and then for this one, yeah, it looks like this one's the same as well, too. Um, and then another two like that, and I believe. I think this one here will have to uh, make it a little taller, so it's going to be two and then three. That's this one here, it's going to be like three and then two, two here, then three. The next one, see how tedious this thing is. This is like the part of the video I was like scared of doing. Because it's just so complicated and then... Oh boy. Alright, and then... Is that all of them actually? So, yeah. It looks like that's all of them. And once we do that, like at the bottom of this, what we want to have is like this uh, daylight detector. So you just add that. Like that. Uh, right underneath the squares. I'm just doing it right now for all of them. So after we have done that to uh, all of them. Now I will show you how to build one of them. So first off you get to um, let's go off to this one. You gotta delete that lime concrete and underneath we're gonna add in a uh, brick stairs and we want the stairs so that it's gonna be right side up and we want it so it's all cornered first side just like that. And then underneath we'll add in red concrete, 2x2. Two two. And then acacia trap doors on the sides of the red concrete, pulling them up like this. Underneath we'll make a 2x2 two two of iron trap doors like that. And then um, acacia trap doors underneath the chains so that they appear to attach to the vent. Whatever this thing's supposed to be, I'm not sure. All right, so yeah, that's the basic design of it, and we do the same thing for all the limes. All right, so once we're done with it, it should be looking like this. Now let's add some vents. So let's go over here between these two layers, and we're gonna skip three slabs here, and we're gonna punch in a two block wide by two block wide hole inside. All right, and we're gonna go over here, skip three slabs, and do the same thing. And then we'll do the same thing um, over here. All right, and then we're going to do the same vent design for each of these three. So pretty much uh, just add in polish um, anisite block two by two. That and then another two by two here. And then uh, polish uh, deep slate block two blocks wide. Polish anisite slabs two blocks wide at the bottom. And then polish anisite stairs two blocks wide on the top. And we're gonna copy the same design and we're gonna build this for um, the rest of the three so that it should be looking like this. Then we'll add in some more vents um, so that there's gonna be underneath this window here. Um, skip two slabs and then make a two by two here. And then we'll go over here, skip a slab and then add in another two by two. And then we'll go over here, skip a slab, then two by two again. But these vents on the side, they're slightly different. Um, so there's going to be another brick fence that's just going to be a two by two. And then we'll add in polish and sight stairs, just make a two by two square. Then we'll add in iron bars, just make a two by two in front of that. And that is pretty much the design and we're going to build it for the rest of the two. So that it should be looking like this. Then we'll go, go on the outside and you'll see all these vents that we just laid out here. We're going to have the same exterior so that's going to be a 2x2 two two of polished andesite. And two blocks wide, polished andesite stairs and then polished andesite two blocks wide. And then polished andesite slabs at 2x2 two two. and we're going to do this to all of the vent holes.
All right, so once you added it, it should be looking like this. Then we'll go off to this side. Near this window, we'll make uh, blocks and buttons on either side of that pole. And then let's go over here, right above this one. Skip two blocks, add in a diorite wall like that. Then let's go over towards uh, the center, like this part here. And we're to count off, I guess, like four blocks we skip or five. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're gonna skip five blocks and we're gonna add in a diorite wall like that. We delete that. All right, so next up, let's go in the back here and let's go line up underneath this window. Skip a block, two, and then skip a block. Add in a brick slot like that. All right, then let's go do the same thing over here to this corner and just add in an upper brick slot like that. All right, and then let's go ahead and go down the up and add in uh, two brick slabs. Then we up three and three. And three again, then two, then three, then two, then one, and then we should meet up uh, with the center like that. All right, and then we'll go down here, make this part three long like that. And we're gonna make this segment, so it's gonna be 31 blocks that way. So let's try to do that uh, 30 one blocks like that and then this part as well all the way across and then for this part over here that's going to be two slabs go down uh, three slabs go down three slabs down and then another three slabs like that and then we want to extend this so it goes and lines up with the other side so however long that <laughs> may be and then once we reach this point you're gonna find out you have to connect it like that like that's how you connect it and then we'll go to the edge here and uh, we're just gonna add in a brick slab underneath all the way across until we meet up that other part so once we reach up to this point Let's add in three brick slabs here and we're gonna extend that out. And you know what, just make it two. So it's gonna be two like that and then this one's gonna be three. Extend this out. And then we're gonna add in one like this. And we'll extend this part here so it matches up with the rest. So that it should be like this. And then next up we'll add in a brick slab underneath this. And then a brick slab underneath everything just to make it like a block thick. And we're going to continue this line until it goes all the way to the top. Just like that. And we're going to add this line also on the side. All the way to that part right there. Alright, cool. After we've done that, let's take out a smooth sandstone block. And I'm going to add that underneath here. And we'll make it two blocks tall. Then we'll add in two stripped birch wood. Then two smooth sandstone blocks like that. Alright, and then we're going to extend this smooth sandstone so it goes all the way across. And meets up with this part. So that it should be looking like this. Then let's go over here. Inside we can add in a black concrete. Make it a two by three. And then we'll add in a stripped birch uh, wood. And just to add two of them like that, and then two end rods here. And then iron trap doors over here. And then smooth sandstone underneath it. And we're gonna make another one of these actually so that there's going to be four windows so that uh, it should be looking like this and you could fill in the rest with smooth sandstone you know, all the way down like that. And then on the side here we're going to add another one of these windows so let's build it right around here and then uh, continue that smooth sandstone just make a 2 by 3 I guess and then stripped wood, stripped of birch wood two by three like that and then smooth sandstone cross for the rest 
so and then we'll make a um, two by two of black concrete and then smooth sandstone blocks around it like this and then we want smooth sandstone um, uh, blocks on the inside of this and they're gonna wrap around all the way up to this part so that it should be looking like this Alright, so once you're done with that, um, that's pretty much all we're going to do right now for uh, this side. So we're going to build everything that we did on this side over here. Alright, so once we have both halves, it should be looking like this, a nice big opening. Or, so let's go um, build this side. Um, so this is the one with the open hanger. I'll show you how to do that. So first off, we'll add in this polished blackstone brick slab, three blocks long, both sides like that and then we'll add in um, birch trap doors and we'll close them up and we're gonna keep on doing that to reach the very top right where we have that slab and then we'll add in a dark oak uh, trap door here close that up and we we'll do the same thing just trying to make this go all the way to the very top and it's also going to be back to back so we're going to add in a back part to it like this all the way to the top a little bit tedious like everything is all right like so and the other side do that same thing that and apparently i put this wrong that should be three like that all righty so and then we're going to build the same you know trap doors on the other side all right, so it should be looking like this, and then on top, we'll add in smooth sandstone block. Right there, and then over here, same thing as well. And then the middle part, um, we can add in smooth sandstone on the edges, then smooth sandstone slabs in the middle like this. We go across like so. Then we'll add in this deep slate brick slab. Just add one after it, this polished blackstone brick. And we're going to pretty much extend this so it goes like four blocks wide all the way across to the edge, as well as this part here. All right, so it should be looking like this. It goes all the way across up to that midline. We're not building the other side yet because we're going to close that door. So over here, just uh, add in another slab. So it's going to be on the fifth one. So one, two, three, five right here. So it's sticking out and have that slab all the way across to the edge. Um, just like that. All right, so next up, let's go to the edge here and we're gonna add in sandstone um, walls so that there's gonna be four blocks wide here. And we're gonna extend it so it goes all the way up to meet up with that part. So that should be looking like that. All right, cool. And then we'll go also um, extend this um, stone block you know because we need to fill that part in all the way across like that and then the inside part here you see that little bit of grass let's fill that in with stone so you don't see that on the inside of that very good so far and then we'll go on the other side and we might as well do the same thing with stone Just add stone over here to the edge a stone underneath that part uh, just like that and then we'll go to the back of the hangar we need to add in the American flag so that's gonna be right in this corner here smooth quartz then red concrete smooth quartz red concrete smooth quartz and then another red concrete and then we want to extend it so it's like five blocks long like that and then we're going to add in blue concrete, uh, three of them here, and then three of these birch buttons, and then extend the stripe. And we extend this pattern so it goes uh, one block past that uh, wall like that. So it should be looking like this. All right, so next up, let's go down over here. And we're going to go right below that slab down here just make a three block wide hole all the way so like the sliding doors that can go in here 
and we're going to fill in uh, this part right over here uh, with the ceiling all the way across so it would be like that as well as the side wall here that's all going to be uh, smooth quartz I mean smooth sandstone just like that and then the railings here that's going to be going all the way across however long that part is so that it should be looking like that all right, then we're going to go right behind this sandstone wall and we're going to add smooth sandstone. So it's five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Skip two blocks, add in three. And then we're going to add in nine walls, sandstone walls. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then behind, we'll add in a smooth sandstone block and make it 10 blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, then add in sandstone wall, 9 blocks long, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Behind, again, do the same thing with smooth sandstone, 10 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, sandstone wall again, 9, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, smooth sandstone again, 10 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then sandstone wall again, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like that. All right, so next up, we'll add in smooth sandstone block. And this is going to be uh, right behind uh, this sandstone wall, cross like that. And actually, we're going to like leave a little gap. So the first sandstone wall, we'll leave that alone for all of these. So let's do that because we do need that for something else. Which I may tell you soon. I don't know. I think this last one we just leave alone for now. And then we're going to add in a deep slate brick wall so that there's going to be one here. And then another one in like this layer here. So you'll see right where the sandstone walls are, little holes. We'll add in that deep slate brick wall that Okay, yeah, never mind. This part here, just fill that in. This next one, we'll put in that deep slate brick wall inside like that. Alrighty, so then we'll add in this deep slate brick wall. So it's going to go one block after that sandstone wall in the exterior like that. It's going to be sort of the midpoint. And if you're having trouble with this, it's pretty much just eight blocks gap between each of these walls. Alright, so after we've done that, we're going to actually extend this whole entire thing. Um, above so it meets up with the rafters so uh, let's do that right now so that it should be looking like this very cool and over in this point we're going to add in a door so that's going to be smooth quartz block just a two by three like this and then um, smooth sandstone blocks across for the rest of it like so. And then we'll also add in a stone bunt right there for the door handle. Then let's go up over here and we're gonna add in this polished black stone brick slab just in like that. And then four blocks wide and then around the edge like that. And I think, I guess we'll leave that alone. We'll add in birch planks, you know, four blocks wide. I'm gonna make this go all the way up to the very top. And then we can add in our smooth sandstone slabs all the way across, um, just so it looks like this. All right, so yeah, let's go on the inside now. And uh, let's start off, I guess, in this corner. And actually, this, I made a mistake here. This is actually not supposed to be there. It's just a wall right there. So yeah, just put that back how it was. Um, anyways, we're going to add in this pattern that's going to be deep slate brick slab. So um, we're going to add in a line across the top row, uh, just like this. And then we'll have a block of space between the next one, another block of space after the next one. And then this time it's 1.5 blocks, so right there. Then access 1.5 again, so right here. 
And then next is going to be one. Cross. And then next is going to be one and a half. So 1.5, cross like that. Alrighty, so then we'll add in another slab down here. Skip a block and then that deep slate brick wall. Do block stall like that. And then the stairs so that there's going to be a little diagonal like that. And we want to do the same thing so it goes down over there another two times. Send it out like this. All right, so once we have this pattern, we're gonna do this to all of the panels. All right, so once we laid them all down, it should be looking like this. And then we'll go up to the rafters here and we'll add in uh, this back to back dark oak trap door like this, as well as the sides over here, as well as the sides here, you know, add that dark oak trap door all the way up and then the inside as well. well let's just extend this part so that it goes all the, so that it goes all the way up here and then dark oak trap doors bam 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 and then this goes all the way down actually all right and then we're going to copy that and build it on the other side all right so it should look like that and then we can add in gray carpets right above each of these um, walls over here that we have on the edge. All right, cool. And then we're going to add in this uh, deep slate brick slab. And we're going to fill in all of this area in with it cross like that. All right, so it should be looking like this. And then we'll cover up each of these uh, sandstone elements that are sticking out with gray car carpet. All right, so once it's filled in, it should look like that. And yeah, I think that's where we're gonna leave off uh, part two of the hangar tutorial. Uh, sorry, we didn't get a chance to like finish decorating it. I'm gonna leave that for uh, part three. It's time for me to eat dinner. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the main hangar. And the next part, hopefully we'll just finish it up real quick, build everything else. Um, but yeah, if you guys do want to see the next, make sure you hit that like button down below and a comment down below if you are actually following this tutorial and let me know like how many people are actually building this. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.